I think in developing my e-portfolio, I really got the chance to um, sort of set my mind in the teaching, research, and service sort of paradigm that goes along with academia. As I sorted through and organized my um, documents and my pictures and links that I had, and I displayed it visually, it really helped me see how everything I've done in my graduate career is placed into one of those three categories. So I think um, just mentally that was very, very helpful for me, and it really helped prepare me for uh, my, my job interviews. Now I have an online presence, and I found that this was very helpful when um, entering the academic job search. For instance, I have all my teaching statement, my research statement, all the relevant documents that most people look for are online, and I kind of make it in more interactive, so I have um, my publication list, but links to the actual articles, um, you know, just different imagery that wouldn't be captured in my CV, um, and more of a personal narrative, and I think this really helps to, you know, make my CV come alive in that sense, and maybe give me an advantage when entering the job search. I was able to easily um, provide other resources beyond what was included in the uh, initial call for employment, where if they asked for things like a teaching and research statement, those were given, but also I was able to include some of my teaching materials, you know, I had things like rubrics, syllabi, um, I had some projects that I had developed for previous courses, as well as um, some other teaching uh, materials for um, courses that I was a TA for. So that was really easy to show, as well as um, links to my publications, things that were accessible online through PDF that um, employers were able to read and see. So I started out by fairly um, rigid research-based description of me as a scholar, and then I went back to this and I thought a little bit of logic behind it. Uh, instead of talking about my research and, and you know, classes I've taught, I also mentioned how I got to this point. I was looking back when I was an undergraduate student, how did I became interested in political science international relations, then how did I develop that And while well, I was an undergraduate student, and then when I came to grad school, what was the process, how I ended up writing my dissertation about m mobilization in certain migrant communities. The organization of my portfolio was really a challenge for me, because when I started designing my portfolio, I basically started off with my resume, so I was describing things in the order that that I'd done things, and describing things that I'd taught in the past, uh, tutoring that I'd done in the past, research that I'd done in the past, and then talking how I learned from all those things and the value of those things. Um, and then as I got feedback from uh, people within my department and from people within the HETC program, including other students, uh, I realized that if I was trying to explain individual aspects of my teaching, I needed to break teaching into separate components and not just different elements of my experiences. Um, so I developed a section that describes um, my approach to teaching, that would be my teaching philosophy page, uh, my, um, how I evaluate myself, which would be my teaching effectiveness page and to demonstrate that what I do works. And then I think I have a student feedback page that, um, that talks about the, it, it's basically a, a demonstration that I am able to collect student feedback and, and tailor what I do to their needs. The faculty members that have looked at my e-portfolio, as well as uh, some of my colleagues at other universities, has all been very, very positive. They really um, were interested in how I did it, and if I could show them how to make an e-portfolio <laughs> too. Especially all of the links to documents that I had, or example, syllabi, or exercises, and pictures. I made a point of including as many pictures, relevant pictures, as I could. So the, the feedback was all very, very positive.